We've got the CT350 case tumbler from Pro Tactical. We're going to assemble that. So let's open the tumbler up and start assembly. So we've got the end product on my left, but this is how it, it would come out of the box exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to deconstruct it. into our parts. So we've got the base, we've got the bowl, we've got the lid for the bowl, and we've got our parts kit. So we've taken everything out of the box and you should have 13 parts ready to assemble. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver to complete the process. We're going to grab the shaft and the plate. And we're going to put the shaft in the square hole we're going to slide the plate down. Now we're going to grab our four Phillips screws and we're going to screw the plate on with the shaft. So I'm just about to put the last of the Phillips head screws in. So they're self tapping screws into the plastic. So you want it to be nice and firm. You don't need to go too hard. Just a nice finger tight I would call that. So now we're ready to install the bowl. So we get the bowl, we slide it on over the shaft like so. We grab one of our washers, slide it over the shaft, grab our wing nut, we'll just assemble it with the wing nut all the way down. Once again a nice finger tight. That's all we need to do. Now we're going to assemble the lid. So all we need to do is grab the lid this way up, so it's got an o-ring seal so no dust or anything comes out of the tumbler, also keeps the noise down. So we slide that on. We use our other washer, and then we use the handle, just to tip it down. Once again, we don't need to go too tight. That's plenty. Now we're ready to plug the union in and tumble some cases. Of course, put your media and your cases in, but she's fully assembled. So we've got the tumbler here, we've uh, assembled it, we've got the lid off so I can show you how much uh, media to put in. So what I'd want you to do is put roughly about um, halfway full of media. Then with your cases, you don't want to go any more than three quarter case capacity. So three quarters up to around about somewhere here. I've got around about 100 to do three cases there at the moment. We can go to around 250. We're often asked how much can we fit in there. There's a lot of calibers, we can't give you a chart for everything. So the really easy way, fill it up halfway with media and no more than three quarters full with cases. The Pro Tactical Tumbler is designed to use with uh, dry media. So corn cob or walnut shell, uh, which you can buy in a five or a seven pound tub here. Uh, we don't put any additives or wet media into it. What can happen is the wet media can travel down the shaft into the electric motor and burn the motor out. That is not covered by warranty. So the PT tumbler is exclusively for what we call dry media. How long do we need to clean our cases? Well, it depends on how dirty they are and how fresh your media is. If you've got a relatively clean case, I'd say about two hours, maybe three hours. If your media is not so fresh, you should replace it. But if you don't want to replace it, you might need to go four or five hours. Make sure it's on a nice stable bench and it's not going to move around. So keep an eye on it for a minute to make sure it's nice and stable. When plugging in the Pro Tactical Tumbler, we recommend you plug it into a power surge board. If you're in remote areas of Australia, you do get a lot of power surges and it can burn the motor out. So make sure you plug it into a power board just like you would your plasma TV or your LCD TV. So some safety precautions to remember when using a vibrating case tumbler. Always unplug the power cord before attempting to remove or discharge the bowl. Never put your hands or foreign objects into the machine or base while the motor is running. The tumbler base must be maintained to provide a positive ventilation. In case of overheating, the motor will shut down automatically. Do not operate the tumbler around water or flammable liquids. And most important, keep this product out of the reach of children.